Hi, we're here at uh, Extreme Metal Products, also known as EMP here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today we're going to be installing our new flip-up windshield for the 2015 RZR 900 and the 14 and 15 model XP1K. Um, first thing I want to show you is I'm going to show you the uh, polycarbonate windshield. This is a 3 16 thick polycarbonate. It's hard coated on both sides. In other words, it has a hard coating that's applied to both sides. So it makes it uh, pretty much scratch resistant. And uh, it's made from polycarbonate, which is virtually unbreakable under normal use, uh, unlike cheaper acrylics on the market. Uh, next thing you're gonna get, this is your bottom seal. This will go along the contour of your hood to seal off your hood. This piece here, this will go along the top, underneath your sun visor, mount to the two stock bolts. And what's important to know about this, this is sealing up above the windshield, unlike other flip-up windshields that leave a gap. So this is great if you're using a canvas cab or a soft cab or any other cab system. Next part here, this will mount on here like this. This will clamp down on your visor to keep this from vibrating. Next thing to show you, these are rubber coated straps. These will go around your cage through these mounts right there like that. This is your aluminum continuous hinge. It will mount to the sun to the top visor right there. The other side will mount here. What you want to know too is this has been made long enough so that it'll actually cover up the barrel of the hinge and the gas. Like that. Okay. Next thing to show you on the bottom, well you're gonna how this is gonna work. This is gonna have four positions. All the way closed, partially open, partially open a little more, and then you'll move this and it'll go all the way up on the gas struts. So with that being said, on the bottom you're going to have these bullet strap clamps with a thumb screw, and this is what will actually go into here, like this. And with that you're going to have a left and a right, or driver's side and passenger side. You're also going to have a gas strut on each side, and this is going to mount to the uh, windshield here on the inside like this. And what you want to note, one side you're going to put a, a, a gas strut ball stud, and this will only go on one side. So if it doesn't go, you're on the wrong side. We made it uh, so, so you can't screw that up. So that's about that. that. And then on the top, you're going to be using these wider clamps. We made it a little beefier because it does hold the windshield up. These will go on the top part. And that's about it. We'll move on to the next step. These are the tools you're going to need to mount your new flip-up windshield. You're going to need a T40 Torx head uh, bit, Phillips screwdriver, a 3 8 and a 7 16 a wrench. These happen to be, you know, one on each side. You're going to need a, uh, it's another 7 16 you're going to need a half inch socket, and that's it. We've installed the three screws along here with Phillips screw screws. With a, uh, We're using a Phillips on one side and a 7 16 wrench on the other. We want to leave the two end ones off because we're going to mount the rubber straps to the cage with those bolts. So that's step one done. Now we've got all these screws in here. We're leaving out the two for the uh, straps, like we mentioned before. Uh, it's important when you put the, these on, use a hand screwdriver and a wrench. Don't use an impact gun screwdriver. You could crack the plastic or break the, pla the, the polycarbonate um, because it is so close to the edge. So you want to just torque it down. Do not over tighten it. Just make it kind of hand tight. Make sure the screw goes to the nylon of the nut is all you're trying to do. And then the next thing we step we're going to do here too, we've placed the uh, rubber edge trim along the bottom. And now you can just start working on one end and just with a rubber mallet or you know whatever, just tap it down as you go. And uh, one thing to point out too, these are DLT approved as you can see there, it's etched in the glass. Okay, move on to the next step. Okay, the next operation we're going to assemble the. Uh, pivot point uh, hinges and the windshield braces together. We've already put the ball stud 
uh, pointing towards the inside. The ball set is only going to go in this hole. It's too big for this hole. And we're working on the driver's side right now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, nylon bearing washer, put it over that, slip that into that hole there. Now we're going to be using the thin nylon nuts. You have wider ones, you want the thin ones. The thin ones will only work for clearance issues at this location. Now one thing you want to know when you do tighten this down, you want to not over tighten it. You want to make it snug so it still can uh, pivot without wobbling. And I'll show you just one second here. Okay, That's snug. That'll loosen up a little bit as you use it. You may want to retighten that, you know, in a month's time or something. Okay, now we've got that together. That's going to go on the windshield on this side through these three holes. Just like we've done over here on the, on the passenger side. As you can see, we've used three screws, three of the wider nuts, in three locations. Okay, on to the next step. Now we've got our hold open brackets installed to the windshield. Uh, there, you know, like I said, there's a driver's side and passenger side. We've got a rubber gasket on the bottom. We've got our hinge attached to the glass. We've left these two bolts off. We've got the top piece bolted to the, the hinge. And we've put the uh, this piece on here loose with a warning label. It says, do not operate over five miles an hour with the window in the fully up position. And as you can see here, now we can just slide this up into place. And then using uh, the torque screws that came that you took out, install the visor right back in up here. And that's all there is to this step. Okay, now I've got the torque bit installed. We've got the windshield mounted on here. We're going to take these uh, one and three quarter rubber coated straps, slip around a cage, using the two one inch long truss head screws. You're going to put it into here. Now note, these are one inch long. Um, you're going to put this in here like this. Then you're going to put the nut on the back side like we've done over there. Uh, one, thing you, one thing I do want to note, I want to show you here, is because these screws are Phillips and large Phillips, make sure you're using a really large screw. I'm sorry, really large bit. Another thing to show you then, we tighten one down. The last thing to do uh, on the inside here is tighten down these two uh, nuts. And as we mentioned before, see the windshield does stick up and blocks off the holes in the hinge. We'll move on to the next step. Okay, we're almost done here. Last couple things we gotta do is we've gotta install the billet clamps. You've got a skinny clamp or with a metric uh, th uh, thread on it that goes for the bottom with your thumb screw and on top here what you want to make sure is it's got a little groove for the uh, nylon nut you want to make sure that faces out these are a little tricky you might want to wear gloves for it keep your hands clear that snaps on there it snaps on tight and good and then this is going to go inside here screw is going to go Pick that up. Screw's gonna go inside there. I put it the wrong way here. Can you hold that up for me, please? Yeah, you might need a buddy to hold that up for you. And we're going to tighten that down. And we'll show you on the other side what we did over here. Okay, we'll move on to the next step. Last step. That's spin your gas strut. So what we want to do is pull this little piece off the gas strut. And put it over top of your ball stuff. Snap it on there. Snap this piece in there like this. And now we can swing it down, 
as you'll see when you open and close this, you're going to put that around there like that and then hook it in the grooves. And one thing to note too, these are for reference. There's some grooves in the windshield. You may need a little adjustment up or down just depending on your vehicle windshield. Everybody adjusts them just a little bit different. How far open you want it to go and so forth. And that's it. Now we're ready to ride. We got it all mounted. We'll show you how it works here. You've got one position, uh, partially vented. Another position, a little more vented. And then all the way up like you got there. As for cruising around a campsite, hunting, whatever you want, we recommend up to five miles an hour in a fully open position, as you can see there. It's all hard coated, all comes with all the hardware mounting, uh, and it's uh, from Extreme Metal Products. So we'll show a close here. Fully closed. Let's ride. <laughs>